what's become an obesity epidemic in the United States, fitness and weight loss has turned into a steadily growing industry since the 1990s. As 2015 begins, it is still a leading public health problem in the U.S., making one part of the healthy and active equation, fitness, a top priority of many New Year's resolutions. To take that on, many of us ask for help at gyms, health clubs, and fitness centers of all sorts. My hobby of exercise and learning about, about nutrition and, and, and good exercise technique is now my career and I can, I can share it with other people. We can provide everything that everybody, anyone needs to attain goals. Uh, the missing piece really is, is their own self-driven uh, wants to, to succeed. The fitness industry across the U.S. and in our hometown is booming, but there's still massive opportunity for the people that own and operate everything from the small private gym to the corporate health clubs. Whenever you have a new gym or you have somebody you know, new coming into Torrance and they're doing anything with fitness, I think it's great because it's getting people excited, it's getting people off their couch and getting them into a fitness program. So while one might think stepping in the ring with over 100 fitness centers throughout the South Bay is a fight new business owners can't win, it's a thriving venture in our community. According to the International Health, Racket, and Sports Club Association, the nation's fitness industry reached a revenue of $21.8 billion in 2013. Across the country, only 13% of Americans have gym memberships today. Here in Los Angeles, that number triples. While those numbers seem small, maybe even surprising, the growth in facilities popping up over the last 15 years suggests something else. At the turn of the century, there were just under 17,000 health clubs across the U.S. Less than 15 years later, there were more than 32,000. So fitness in the South Bay is both competitive and lucrative for those who are determined to make a living helping others live healthy and active. That's exactly what made Torrance the prime location for the corporation UFC Gym. With over 10,000 members, the UFC Gym works alongside local businesses like Honda and is an active member of the Torrance Area Chamber of Commerce. It's become a staple of our community. Wendell Paulding came here as a membership specialist when the doors opened in 2012. Shortly after, he took over as general manager and has spurred growth by everything from getting to know each member to interaction with other local businesses. We do a lot of work with our corporations in the area, you know, trying to set up wellness programs. You know, obviously a healthy employee is going to show up more often to work, and it's a major initiative for us. When it opened in 2012, it was one of just a handful of the brand's facilities. Now, it's the most successful of the company's more than 100 gyms. It's fair to say that we've had steady growth in, you know, as we got, you know, to a point to where we're starting to get really crowded, we added another 5,000 square feet to our gym and, you know, we took some of the new things that were out there and, you know, we made sure we made that a part of our, our, our workout floor. The catalyst for adding 5,000 new square feet to what was already the largest gym in the area was a combination of the business's growth and an understanding of today's fitness community. This is something that we added this past year because of that increase in member traffic that we're getting and you know, also to keep up with the, lo the, the latest trends and you know, people are big into the high intensity interval training. So we had to provide space you know, for our members to be able to do that. Built on the Ultimate Fighting Championship brand, the corporation grows beyond the explosion of MMA. Members can come to practice and learn disciplines like jiu-jitsu and kickboxing, but understanding the popular activities fitness enthusiasts are enjoying globally means they work to offer something for all 10,000 of those members. If you look at our schedule overall, we are doing about 190 classes a week. But right now we're doing 40, 43,000 workouts a month. You know, with a gym this large, we're able to do five classes at a time. So we're able to entertain anywhere between two to 3,000 workouts a day. Olympic weightlifting, high intensity interval training, the new space isn't as much a testament of UFC's growth in the South Bay community, rather a microscope of what's going on outside these walls. The explosion of sports like CrossFit, UFC's own MMA roots, have all created a new type of fitness enthusiast, one who's eager and willing to try something new. So again, UFC's own growth is as much a sign of the area's booming fitness industry as it is their understanding of it. It's proof that the presence of a corporate giant representing the fastest growing sport in the world isn't slowing down other fitness related businesses in Florence. In fact, as we're about to learn, the local industry is a network of innovators that work together and separate all at once. So how does a business stand out with so much competition 
and an industry with hundreds, if not thousands of options for consumers. We explore that next. Chris Domine is a husband and a father. Chris is an athlete. Chris is even an Iron Man. But 10 years ago, Chris was facing a very different story because his kidneys were failing. Basically, the doctor said, if you don't get a kidney transplant and if you don't do dialysis, you, you are going to die. Fortunately, Chris received a second chance at life, made possible by an organ donor. You know, your well-being changes, you know, from, from loss of hope to hope to better times ahead. More than 100 million people in America are registered organ, eye, and tissue donors, people of every age and ethnicity, because they believe it's the right thing to do. Imagine what you can make possible by leaving behind the gift of life. Learn more and sign up as an organ, eye, and tissue donor. Go to organdonor.gov. Welcome back. Now that we've checked in with Torrance's largest gym, it's time to see how owners of smaller businesses stand out in a local industry with endless competition. At the beginning of 2013, Code 3 Athletics was one of just three CrossFit affiliates in the city of Torrance. By the start of 2015, four more affiliates had joined them here in what's called the sport of fitness. The sport's popularity in Torrance is just a sample of its worldwide explosion. It's not for everybody. It's not a boot camp workout that you can just kind of come in and turn your, your brain off. It's, um, it's super intense. It's really, really hard, and we tell people that right from the get-go. Mark Silvermesana and Daniel Wu opened Code 3 in 2011 under the name CrossFit Code 3 in a small space on Hawthorne Boulevard. Uh, we started as trainers at a global gym at 24 Fitness. We had a meeting and they, they wanted us to train everybody uniformly, uh, regardless of what goals or where they started. And so one day we suggested we should open up our own gym and we kind of took it and ran with it. Ran with it indeed. Mark says their individual jobs as the business grows just naturally came from their skill sets with an even 50-50 split of responsibilities. Daniel is more of the social media. Um, he deals with a lot of the vendors, retail, um, and he does the programming for the gym. Um, I'll take care of a lot of the business side, the business, business management, billing, um, we, we share the, the coaching load 50-50, um, and then we, we both manage our, our coaches also. But as more people started coming through the doors and their own identity as a business started to evolve, within a couple years, it was time to expand. And they were committed to doing so in Torrance. They moved from the original 1,700 square foot space to the now 5,500 square foot facility they operate, just a few miles away from where it all started. We don't want to just flood this place. We want um, good people who are going to stick around for a long time. Um, so yeah, all of our growth has been organic. Um, you know, we don't do any paid advertising at all, and um, we like it that way. For these two, working together in a corporate gym was the experience needed for the success they're seeing today. But no amount of corporate training could replace good old-fashioned intuition. Last year, we branched away from kind of the CrossFit model, per se. Um, we rebranded our gym as Code 3 Athletics. And the reason for that was to allow us to kind of um, grow beyond just uh, the CrossFit market. We kind of took what we did with our own individual businesses as trainers, kind of put it together, uh, put the systems together, stuff that we learned from, from the big corporations, stuff we liked, stuff we didn't like, we knew to stay away from, um, but we all put it together. Witnessing the constant evolution of their sport and the entire fitness industry, they eventually chose to rebrand their business, now calling it Code 3 Athletics. It's this willingness to grow with the times that's given Wu and Sober Mesana an understanding of their identity as a member of the Torrance community and the fitness community. We, you know, we've always believed um, kind of in the mantra, like if you build it, they will come. You know, there's hundreds of um, personal training studios and private gyms in the South Bay. There's a lot of CrossFit gyms out here. And um, we, we wanted to think outside the box and, and, and think of ways that, hey, let's not, let's not look at what other people are doing. Let's, let's grow um, what we have and just create a new, kind of a new system. You know, nobody out there right now is offering what we're offering, which is um, our CrossFit program, our weightlifting program, our competitors CrossFit program, and soon to be our powerlifting program. By building new programs that serve their specific client base and trusting it will attract the right people, 
the two business owners are well on their way to bigger goals. They're working to someday have multiple gyms in the area. Our, our member base grows uh, organically through uh, referrals from, from our members and from people that know us. That is uh, kind of really self-generated. Um, and then bringing people from a close circle, uh, everyone seems to fit in seamlessly when they do come in. For now, their space in the community is another example of the fitness industry's network of interconnected people, activities, and how businesses thrive together. With the 5,500 square foot space, almost 4,000 square feet larger than where they started, they regularly open their doors to the athletes of other gyms for regional events. That's been such a huge perk of having a huge space like this. It really, um, you know, it helps each individual CrossFit gym, gives those people something to train for, um, and, and it just fosters a really good um, relationship, you know, between ourselves and the community at large. You know, just to know that, hey, it's not just them working out, you know, with their little gym. There's dozens and hundreds of gyms like that around the world. Also, you know, they're, they're kind of part of something a little bit bigger. Coming up, a Torrance native becomes a newcomer to the South Bay fitness scene. Mom was diagnosed with Alzheimer's at 58 years old. Eight years into the disease was when all the light went out. For me, it was heart-wrenching. Looking into the eyes of somebody with Alzheimer's sometimes, uh, you just don't see the, the, the person's soul is like gone. And it takes a toll on everyone. I mean, it's, it's, it's a depressing disease to watch unfold before your eyes. She actually thought those of us who were caring for her and who loved her most were her worst enemies. More and more responsibilities fell on my shoulders. This disease just ravages a family. It changes your life. The magnitude of it is indescribable. My mother taught me to be in the moment. We have to live in the moment with them. And I'm gonna be with that person right now in this moment, wherever she is. Now is the moment. If we work together, we can stop this epidemic. Contact Bright Focus and learn more. Meet Dan Hawkins, a graduate of Bishop Montgomery High who was raised in Torrance. He's here for about 12 hours a day in Torrance's brand new nine round kickboxing gym. Every day is different. I don't know who's going to come in that door. I have my regular members who come in and we've you know, gotten to know each other and it's a lot of fun um, and I've seen their progress, but you know, I don't know who's going to come in and, and, uh, and want to work out here. Or lots of interesting people walk in and you know, we just start chatting and find out about what they're all about and what they're looking for. Hawkins opened this franchise in the summer of 2014. It's the first time he's owned a business, something he'd only dreamed of for quite some time until fate finally forced his hand. I had a really good job. Um, and I like the people I work with, but I didn't, I didn't want to spend the rest of you know, my career there, and I didn't want to be sitting in a cubicle for the rest of my career. I didn't know what, but something new. In April of 2013, that opportunity for change came. He'd been an engineer for the defense contractor Raytheon for 13 years. Now, they were laying him off. I, I saw it coming, but still, it was pretty surprising that day to, to find out. It's like, wow, now what? How long did the now what last? A long time. <laughs> Probably about, um, well, so I, I, I basically got laid off in early April 2013 and immediately started working with this outplacement firm, um, learning about resume writing and LinkedIn and interviewing and all these different things, and, um, and started working with the franchise coach in May of that year. So it was, and it wasn't until October that I, that I chose Nine Round and decided to move forward with them. Over the next several months, he set out to get the new Nine Round franchise off the ground. Being from the South Bay, Hawkins was determined to run his brand new business right here, even with all the competition. You know, even though there are a lot of gyms here, um, I, my family, you know, is around here. So I, I knew this, this opportunity was a little bit different um, than what's out there. And um, I knew the demographic of this area and I thought it would be a good fit. For decades, kickboxing has been on America's list of fitness infatuations. It's high intensity, it's tough, and you don't have to slave away on a treadmill for 60 minutes to get your heart rate up. What made the nine round opportunity stand out in Dan's mind was its unique concept. Nine stations for everything from straight cardio to traditional kickboxing techniques using punching bags. A new workout starts every three minutes at nine round. You walk in, start your workout, and move through each station three minutes at a time, making the gym a conveyor belt of sweating, punching, and eventually, really tired people. It all lasts 
just 30 minutes. Yeah, there's over 100 gyms in the South Bay, I think, you know, between, you know, probably five 24 hour fitness, your Pilates studios, your spin studios, um, you got your boutique gyms, you got some personal training gyms, so many different things, uh, a few other cardio uh, kickboxing gyms as well. Um, but this one's a little bit different from all those. Now, Dan says his life is completely different from those days in a corporate job. He's his only employee as business grows with freedom he'd never had before. Uh, I feel more in, you know, empowered because you know, I'm doing what I want to do and I'm helping people and I have more control over it at the end of the day. So Dan Hawkins, like many successful business minds, took a leap. In his story, the rewards far outweigh the risk. There's different ways to look at it. You know, obviously starting a business and, and, and going on your own is very scary, but I think it's also scary to stay in one job for 30, 40 years because what I discovered, you know, at this outplacement firm is a lot of people with a lot of experience, great resumes, great education, who are struggling to find a job. You know, and I, you know, I, I looked ahead, you know, 20 years and I said, am I gonna be sitting here with these people if I go back into the workforce and, and keep doing what I'm doing? Um, and so I, that's what scared me, is not making a change. Even jumping into one of Torrance's most competitive markets, the people in charge of both small and large local gyms are all finding their own brand of success. At UFC Gym, thousands of members have their all-in-one go-to facility under one roof. In my mind, at a typical health club, you're going in and it's just you. This is you in the gym, you in the weights. Um, UFC Gym, it's you and you know those other 29 people that are next to you in your daily ultimate training class. No matter what you're looking for, if it's fitness related, you know we've got a way for you to come in these doors and do it. At Code 3 Athletics, Torrance has watched two gym employees blaze their own path through one of the world's fastest growing sports. We think there's enough people out there who you know, would, would benefit from an environment like this. And at Nine Round Kickboxing, a unique twist on working out gave another business owner the opportunity to make a dream a reality. At the end of the day, I, I picked this because it's something that's in line with my passion. I'm really passionate about health and fitness, about um, nutrition, and I can, I can share it with other people. So it's, it's really been, been a great opportunity for me. If you know of any local businesses you'd like to see featured on our show, please send an email to commonsense at torrentsca.gov. We look forward to seeing you next time.